Ladies and gentlemen, Terminator Judgment Day is here. Fully unmanned drone combat in Donetsk Oblast. Seen here. Ukrainian FPV munitions from the 47th Mechanized Brigade destroy a pair of Russian unmanned ground vehicles that attempted to push into Berdichi. Russian military personnel are reportedly paying bribes to be posted to Syria rather than Ukraine. As casualties mount in the special military operation, Syria now appears to be seen as a much safer option for military service. The VCHK OGPU Telegram channel reports on the case of three soldiers who paid 100,000 rubles, $1,080, each to a colleague, which he was to transfer to an official of the Russian general staff to ensure that they were put on the list for a business trip to Syria. Perhaps not coincidentally, 100,000 rubles appears to also be the standard bribe for soldiers to be granted permission to go on leave. As it's the equivalent of a month's pay, it's probably a convenient amount for a bribe. The proposed deal fell through. None of the three ever went to Syria, and the money was returned. However, the attempted bribery was detected, and all three were tried and convicted for attempted bribery, and were fined 250,000 rubles, $2,700 each. The sentencing memorandum acknowledged the desirability of Syria as an overseas posting, noting that the defendants were aware of the positive impact of this kind of business trip on the level of material and social security of the servicemen. This is a story about filtration of those who come to Crimea from the new Russian lands. In this case, from Russian-occupied Donetsk, with a Russian passport. Ребята, всех приветствую. Хотел, блядь, записать видео по поводу поездки в Крым. Сегодня приехал в Крым, в Ялту. Ровно в 11.00 уже все, обшманали машину полностью, запаску доставали, коврики, все вещи. Это просто пиздец. Ну то ладно, понимаю. Пошли, прошли паспортный контор, и ровно в 11.00 нас завели в клетку, блядь, для, я не знаю, фильтрации, или каким словом назвать. Чтобы вы понимали, людей там было, ну, блядь, человек, наверное, 40. Тупо клетка, как для собак. Причем нахрен закрывают, блядь, я говорю, люди, конечно, в парашюках ходить, ну, пиздец, как собак загнали в стадо стоило, и стойте, ждите. Так что вы думаете, ровно, получается, в 11 часов нас загнали туда, ну, сидим час, сидим два, сидим три, блядь, а все-таки там сквозняк продувает пиздец, да еще и не май месяц, прохладно. Жопа уже не выдерживает, просто охреневшие все люди нервничают, матюкаются, рут, блядь, ну, пиздец. Больше семи, семь часов, больше семи часов мы, сука, там провели. Почему? Потому что, блядь, э задают, ну, фильтрации, задают вопросы, ну, кто в первый раз въезжает, типа, нужно пройти фильтрацию. То есть задают вопросы, связанные со всей этой обстановкой, которая сейчас творится, и шманают телефон, там, сканируют, проверяют на наличие всякой вот этой информации ненужной и нехорошей. Это хорошо сейчас, еще там 10-15 градусов, а если, блядь, морозяка, зима, а если, блядь, это самое, лето, жара, два обогревателя, которые нихуя не работают. Ну, короче, то же самое, что на улице, только сквозняка нету. В общем, все люди злые, охреневшие, блядь. Минут разговор ушел, пять минут шманали телефон. Почему нельзя организовать нормальную работу, тоже. Russian headlines mastery. Russian warships entered the Red Sea. Houthis are keeping quiet. The West has tensed. On March 28th, the Pacific Fleet Command reported that a detachment of warships, including the Varyag Protected Cruiser and the Marshal Shaposhnikov frigate, had crossed the Babel Mandeb Strait and entered the Red Sea for the purpose of planned performance of assigned tasks. The Varyag Cruiser is one of the most powerful ships of the Russian Navy and the world. It is armed with granite cruise missiles and S-300F anti-aircraft systems, while the Marshal Shaposhnikov frigate represents a family of the most modern multi-purpose combat vessels, the Russians boast. For Russia, this is primarily an attempt to demonstrate that they are major global players alongside the United States and China on the world stage. In this way, they are also trying to divert attention from the defeats of the Russian Black Sea Fleet. 
Russian Navy ships previously deployed in the harbor of Sevastopol have been moved eastward, according to the British Ministry of Defense. Another example of the use of dummy soldier by Russians from another direction of the front. Дальше у нас вещи сушатся. Мои. Здесь типа стоит чего? And for the end, the Space Shuttle Endeavour external tank falling toward the Earth after a successful launch. Made in China. No comment. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you want to support Warthog Defense, please become our member and get early access to new videos, exclusive members only videos, and become administrator in comment section. The membership link is in the description. Rescues. Every day we had a guy last week at six rescues in six days. You know, he's doing the job every day.